uh, detect and respond uh, is again data classifications you know monitor alerts like you can have uh, azure alerts engine you can basically configure you will get an alert when there is a breach or like a suspicious activity compliance monitoring prevents things data classification minimizes the risks and security checks on applications is essential because use some basic open source tools there are a lot of them uh, if you're before deploying applications uh, so you need to have basic policy guidance uh, before uh, for the applications it is more annoying than uh, expensive so just bear with it and do it and so that you can follow them usually they don't take time and they don't involve costs so please do those uh, backup and recovery procedures are extremely important if something happened, they help you in quick recovery and you should have a thorough plan for that. Doing automated deployments because when something happens, you want to recover or like even the, in the event of a failure, right? Not even an incident like, you know, security incident, but even if in the event of a failure, systems failure, it helps in recovery. It quickly, uh, if you automate everything, it should be a, like a click of a button to completely recover it in a different uh, zone or different region, right? If one region of Azure goes down, then you can recover it in another region of Azure or even in AWS. Uh, and then do uh, tripwires. That means it's part of those rules engines like in you know, a contextualize and set up tripwires like you know when to deny access, when to uh, shut down a like completely lock an account versus uh, deny access to specific request. Those are two points. For more information, click on the link below or visit databrackets.com.